So let's get started with our first aid pouch. First of all, we're going to sew the little red cross together. So to do that, just place your um, squares or shapes in the right place and we're going to pin them right sides together. I'll do these two first and sew them on the machine. And each of the seams being just a quarter of an inch. Okay, so those two are done. And then I'm going to put the other white piece right sides together with the red piece for both sides. Just check and make sure you've got it the right way so when it's finished, when you open it up, it will be like that. And we'll stitch that one too. So we need to iron these bits flat. And because it's so small, you don't really need to iron the seams open. We'll just iron them to one side. So now we need to attach these to the center red piece. And again, with right sides together, we will do the first one first. And with a quarter inch seam, just stitch. going to push the seams over to the side. There's one and I'm going to do exactly the same at the other side. So with this piece lined up with the red piece, just pin and we'll stitch that one too. So we have our little red cross, and I'm just going to iron the back of that one too. So there is our little red cross, and while we're at the ironing board, I'm going to um, iron on a piece of the fusible paper onto the back of this, which I've cut out to the size um, that I want my little cross to be. So I've taken the first paper backing off 
I'm going to center it up on there. This is just going to make it easy to add it onto our little pouch. So I've turned the iron, the steam off, and I'm just going to iron that until it's fused together like that. Okay, so at this stage, um, what I like to do is just take my uh, rotary cutter and just trim this down to the size of the paper. You can use scissors. Um, I just have this to hand and it's, it just gives me a nice straight line. So I'm just using the, the paper as my guide because it was already cut to the right size. a little straighter there. Okay, so I have my, my design for the front of the pouch. I'm just going to put that to one side while we work on the rest of the pouch. Okay, so what we do is we take one of our front pieces of the main fabric and we put it onto the um, um, the batting. Okay, so we're to attach the zipper, we're going to pin the zipper along that edge, making sure the edges are all together. And the zipper is the right side facing the right side of the fabric. So this is the right side of the zipper and this is the right side of the fabric. This will be the outside of the pouch. Okay. One more pin. Okay. And to start off with, we're going to pull the zipper down most of the way because that way we can stitch around or we can stitch it without having to go around the zipper and keep a nice straight line. So we're going to go over to the machine and sew that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to make sure I've got my zipper foot on here. So just change. It really does make life a lot easier when attaching a zipper. So um, just lining the zipper up. You're going to sew about halfway, you know, like you're right in the middle of the zipper line. So I'm going to remove the first pin and lower the foot. And you'll see why I've opened up the zipper. So just start stitching. I'm going to stop to remove that pin. And now we're going to pull the zipper up, but just make sure that your needle is in the fabric. Lift the, the foot and just maneuver this past there. Sometimes it's a little tricky. And you see now you don't have to go around the zipper. Um, you can continue with your nice straight line. So let's remove that pin. Down to the end. Like that. Um, so now we're just going to iron this here. I just ironed that nice and flat, and now I'm going to do a row of top stitching along here just for decoration. So now we do a nice uh, top stitch close to the edge. On this, this time I didn't need to open up the zipper because it wasn't in the way. Okay, 
so you have that nice stitch. So now we're going to attach the other side. So same thing. I'm putting the fabric and the batting together. This is the, the right side of my fabric. And we're going to attach this now, you know, flip it around so that the right sides of the fabric are together and the edges of the zipper are together. Just make sure that's lined up. It's not going to line up at this edge because it's slightly down to allow for the zipper. So again, let's pin. And we'll leave the zipper down like that to start off with, and then we'll move it when we're halfway through. OK, so again, about in the middle of this zipper section over here, we're going to start stitching. I'll start with my needle in when I get to the pin. Go a little further. Stop and needle in, foot up, and open up the zipper. Like that. Make sure you hold the, the zipper in place because you've taken the pin out. Okay. So that's the second one. We're going to iron this like we did the first one and then stitch, top stitch again. So just kind of stretch it out a little bit when you iron it. Okay, and then we're going to stitch along here with a line of top stitching. Sure you get everything lined up. And that's what it should look like now. Trim any loose threads. Okay, so um, this is where we're going to attach our little um, red cross. So remember we put our paper on before. We're going to peel the backing off. I'm going to iron this in place where we want it on the front of the pouch. I think that's about right. So let's just iron that on. And now what I'm going to do is take this over to the machine and I'm going to do a zigzag stitch around the edge. Okay, so I'm going to applique this around the edge in a zigzag stitch. So I'm just going to put my machine on a uh, zigzag. You can change your machine. And make sure you've got your regular foot back on. Okay, so... When you get to the corner, stop with your needle in, lift the foot and pivot. Just trim this one off so it doesn't get caught up. And then the next side. OK. 
again. Needle in, foot up and pivot. There we go. So next we're going to attach the little um, keychain and ribbon. So just thread that through like that and we attach it on this side. I'm going to put the pin in there and I'm actually just going to stitch this in place so that it, uh, we don't need to worry about um, holding it in place when we sew the pouch together. I'm still on my zigzag stitch. Let me just switch back to straight stitch. There you go. That will just hold that in place. So now we're ready to stitch the pouch together. So we'll, making sure that your little um, keychain is inside, we'll fold this and match all the edges and pin. And again, I'm pinning on the stitch line about a quarter of an inch in from the edges. and the ends of the zipper should be folded over like that. Okay, so now I'm going to stitch that in place. Okay, so we're going to stitch this up and just always remember to leave the zipper uh, partially open so that you have some, some way to turn the pouch around to the right side, okay? So we're just going to start up here, do a couple of reverse stitches and I'm stitching a half or a quarter inch seam. So stop when you get a quarter of an inch from the end. With the needle down, lift the foot and pivot so that you're now gonna stitch down this side of the fabric, okay? So make sure the foot's down. Stop every time you reach a pin. And again, stop a quarter inch away from this bottom edge, which is right where my pin is. Again, needle in, lift the foot, pivot your pouch, and stitch up this side. Let's take out that last one. Hold this in place because your pin's not there. And let's stitch all the way to the end. Do a reverse stitch there. Okay, so this is what it should look like now. I'm just going to trim those extra threads. And whenever you have a square like this, you need to um, cut, clip the corners, it's called. And that means that the pouch will be less bulky when you flip it. And I'm actually going to just go around here and trim any excess. Being that it's such a small project, you need it to be um, um, as the least bulky that you can make it. Okay, so I've trimmed it all nicely, and this is where you're going to be glad that you left the, the zipper open. Can you use that, pull that through. It does come through eventually.
like that. So just poke out the corners, and I usually use the blunt uh, end of the scissors just to push it out. So you may think we're finished, but we're actually going to put a nice little lining in this just as a finishing touch, okay, so that we don't see all our um, batting in there. So last step, we take our lining fabric and we put it right sides together. and we pin it. And we're going to stitch this the same as we just stitched the pouch together, just around these three sides. So I'm going to put three stitches, or three pins rather, just to hold it in place. And let's stitch this on the machine. Again, stop a quarter inch from the end. And a quarter inch from this end. Needle in, foot up and pivot. So same here, we clip the corners and we'll also trim the edges. And we don't flip this to the, the other side because it's actually going to go inside our pouch. But what we do need to do is iron um, just like a quarter inch Um, like that. Like that. And then you just pop it inside your pouch. Push the corners down to the corners. Just maneuver it around a little bit. If there's any little threads sticking up here, you can um, push them down in the middle and nobody will ever know. So when you've got this inside in place, we're going to just hand stitch I'll put a pin in place so you can see how it's going to be. A little tricky just being that it's such a small pouch, but once you get it in there, it's well worth it. So I'm just going to get a needle and thread. I always start off with three small stitches, one on top of the other, but if you want to start with a knot, you can do that too. Just make sure it's on the in between the lining and the zipper so that nobody sees the knot. Okay, so. With nice, neat little stitches. See how I'm just sort of almost flipping it inside a little bit. Covers up any of those ugly bits at the ends of the zipper too. So it really is worth 
spending a little bit of time and doing the lining. Remove that pin, and we're nearly there. Or another great idea is if you have a child who has any kind of medication, um, wouldn't this be a great little pouch to put on their backpack? So three little finishing stitches, almost like a knot just to finish off. And there the lining is done. I want to make sure it's all pushed down inside and push this corner out too. It's just worth taking a little time to make sure your whatever item it is is finished off nicely. So there you have your super cute uh, first aid pouch. <laughs>